back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperion, and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less... Ah, uh, obvious rewards. Stories, legends, those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out! Fiona? <laughs> what, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Tell me about the Gordas project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on Eid. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're... Getting dragged through the desert, and, uh... From the beginning. Right. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the it baddest was guy of them all. Long. It must feel good I to find to be rabbit, just you know? like him. Take it, it's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. <laughs> Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was 
concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Gotta figure I could get lunch. Seems like a good place to start. Well, then we're starting with three of whatever's most expensive. Sure. And wine pairings. For lunch? We're gonna get twisted, bro. If I'm not puking up $500 in food and alcohol this afternoon, then we are doing it wrong. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Thanks for the help, Vaughn. Really. I couldn't have done this without you and Yvette. Hey, man, don't sweat it. Uh, I'm just happy we even got you here. You know, I crunched the numbers one night and figured out there was a 45% chance someone would kill you before this day. Glad that didn't happen. Me too. It was a uh, real touch and go there for a bit. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. Hmm. No, oh, we need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. You look surprised to see me, Reese, and if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick, so you might not have been in the loop. Well, congratulations on your promotion. I love what you've done with the office, going for the whole minimalist thing. Oh, that's cute. You're going to be reporting to me now. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. It's destiny, race. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you can hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. Uh, I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million, yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 no, but...
Do you want the money or not? Cause I... Ugh. Why do the biggest scumbags always have the best view? It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get... Yes. Oh, that should be me. Only less... Yeah, Vasquez. It's a working Three deal, years listen, sucking and up I just the got this promotion. Out the window. No, nope. Yeah, uh, look, look, look. Are you going? Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? Not yet. Look, I'll have to call you back. I... No, but... Do you want the money or not? Because I... It's not. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get... Yes. Trying to screw me on this. Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down at... <sighs> if it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay. Say hi to your mom. Damn it! Ah, oh, right. Now, uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. You were lecturing me. It was taking a while. All right, your uh, promotion. Anderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice janitor. What? No, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. Fine. I've had to do worse in my career. That's the spirit, Reese. Nothing teaches you humility faster than scrubbing toilets. You're dismissed, Reese. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us! He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. 